So the quarter-final now underway and the tension much higher for both teams. This is John Champion and with me our match summariser, Jim Beckett. And now a moment to cherish as the national anthem rings out. comment on before we start Jim well both teams have spent enough time on preparation I mean, physically and tactically they should be in perfect condition it might come down to look today you know well as predicted in the weather forecast rain has been falling steadily Miguel Veloso on the ball. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. No beaten to it. Miguel Veloso. Fabio Coentrao. Miguel Veloso. It's an opportunity. He scores. And Portugal score first. Escaped the shackles and finished very well. Yeah, defensively they thought they had him where they wanted him, but he's forever on his toes and he showed terrific movement to manufacture some space and score. They've gone ahead so early in the game. I think it's a goal that gives them great early impetus, and I think the coach will want him to use it and go get a second now. It's not time to sit there. Here's João Moutinho. Keeper's got a strong hand on the ball. Here it goes. He got a good hold of that. It's on for him. The ball's with Cristiano Ronaldo. Now Hugo Almeida. And Raul Morales. Here's Miguel Veloso. Miguel Veloso! And that was on target. What an effort that was. He's done very well from that distance. He sends it in. a chance from another corner he knocks it in we've nearly reached the half hour mark well, there was a chance to get the ball into the area but maybe it's gone now here's Raul Morales shoots Ronaldo had the keeper beaten, but he then missed the target. Well, if you're going to sacrifice power in favour of accuracy, then those disciples have really got to find a bonus. Got it. Jean Moutinho cuts it out.
chance, maybe. Here we go, Deloso. And there is the referee's whistle to end the first half. Well, one nil up is never the safest scoreline, but this is looking pretty good on this evidence. Just the one goal separates them then. It's one nil. One of those that can go anywhere. Some days you catch it perfectly, and some days they end up like that. manager proud because they dug in deep then and they've got their level up the keeper made a mess of it and he's been punished well that's not the best attempt by the keeper and he's just paid the ultimate price hasn't he so we resume with the scores back level oh look i love watching games like this when both teams are given everything they've got to try and win it this is all the makings of a cracker Comes through to him nicely, and the chance accepted with some aplomb. Could this be it for them? And he owes a debt of thanks to his teammate with that perfect pass. Well, the run meant the pass perfectly, and that's always tough for any defence. Portugal now up by a goal. Could be a chance now. Oh, it's been cut out. Cristiano Ronaldo. Can he now find a finish? Cristiano Ronaldo, they've scored! That should do it. It really is the ideal time to strike. I thought it was a decent move, but a really good finish. He had to work hard to shake off his marker. He managed it. Resume and the gap is now two. It's true. It's opened up nicely for him. That was a real chance. Oh, listen, their task is tough enough already without missing chances like that. The next one has to go in. Fabio Coentrao. No, no way through there. He can take the shot on here. The ball's with Raul Morelles. No, that won't be finding its target. The linesman's kept his flag down. Now he's ready for a shot. Cross. 
no, he wasn't decisive enough. Yeah, he just gave the defence too much time to regroup. In the end, he was forced into rushing. Here's a ball in. There's the final whistle, signalling the end of 90 minutes. They have done it, and deservedly go through to the last four. And now there's some real belief amongst the players that they really can win the cup. Thank you, Jim.